Hey y'all, it's Betsy and mom from Happily Ever After Cinema, and we are back with another garden project. So today, Cinnamon and Biddy are helping us plant daffodils. Yes. Because somebody got daffodils for Christmas. Yes, they did. So in Alabama or most of the South, we actually have to chill our daffodils, our tulips, our bulbs that need cold time because we just don't get enough cold time down here to force blooms. And so you can plant daffodils, but they won't bloom without cold time. They won't come back. You're just going to get a lot of foliage and no pretty flowers, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. And so while you can purchase bulbs that have been pre-chilled, It is literally New Year's Day on a Sunday, and we're right down the street from two churches, so we might have a lot of cars today. Um, <laughs> but while you can purchase bulbs online that have been pre-chilled, if you purchase bulbs from like a big box store in bulk or Sam's Club that usually has a lot of bulbs, you need to chill them in the South, which means they need to go in a refrigerator for 10 to 14 weeks, depending on the bulbs, I believe. These daffodils, we had to do 12 weeks. Um, longer isn't necessarily bad, but you don't wanna go shorter or they won't have enough cold time. And you need to make sure your refrigerator that you put them in doesn't have fruits or vegetables in it because they have some kind of odors or gases it's that, a gas. it's a gas. Yeah. that interacts with the bulbs and stops the bloom, which is the whole point of putting them in the fridge. So a lot of people who plant bulbs every single year because once you plant them in the ground, they need cold, to your, cold time the next year to bloom again. You have to dig them up, re-chill them, or dig them up, throw them away, buy new chilled bulbs every single year. It is a labor of love. If you don't love it, don't do it. <laughs> but a lot of people who pre-chill a lot of bulbs in the South have a specific mini fridge or refrigerator just for bulbs because you don't wanna put them in your regular fridge. I planted daffodils last year, I put in my regular fridge and they didn't bloom. They came up and they were foliage, but um, even the ones that came up did not bloom. So we, and by we, I mean me, cause this was a Christmas present. Yes. I sweet talked to my brother. I said, hey, you know, it would be a great present for mom. Daffodil bulbs, they're one of her favorite flowers in the spring and they need to be pre-chilled in a fridge. And you know who has a fridge with no fruits or vegetables in it? My little brother, because what 30 something single man has fruits and vegetables in his fridge? None, he has hot pockets, they won't hurt anything. So he went ahead and he chilled these bulbs for 12 weeks for us and we're gonna go ahead and plant them today. So we bought two varieties, your standard just yellow daffodils and then an ice king variety, which is more of a double um, daffodil and we can show you. Yeah, go ahead. Mom's gonna show you what they look like. I wasn't sure, mom really likes just the standard classic daffodils, but I just thought these were pretty. So go ahead and show right in the camera what they look like, mom. So those are the Ice King. They're like a buttery yellow double daffodil. And then the standard ones are just your yellow cups. And you can see they came in a big bag. Yes. And they are obviously chilled properly because they are already starting to sprout. Yes. So I believe, what does the bag say, mom? You want to plant daffodils six inches deep, four inches deep? Um, these are... Typically, the bigger the bulb, the deeper it gets, it goes. Three to six inches for these. So these are, I think the other bulbs are a little bigger. They might be deeper. But for the Ice King, it says three to six inches deep. So typically for three to six inches, I'll just drill a hole with my auger, pop the bulb in, and then oh, it says three it's deep. Six inches deep. There you go. I think most daffodils are three to six inches. I usually do them six inches deep. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and plant these. I think we're gonna do the fancy ones. And of course these fancy ones are six plants for five dollars so you don't get nearly as many of the pretty ones whereas the standard ones are 40, 40 for 20. 20. <laughs> so 
stuff. The price difference is ridiculous. And I could have, you know, cut that part off. But mom's bought daffodils for years. So she knows know. how much they cost. The, the bulbs themselves, cost-wise, was not the surprise. It was that we actually were able to pre-chill them for her. Yes. So we are going to go ahead and plant these up by the porch where they're front and center. These are not pre-sprouted, so hopefully these fancy, expensive bulbs will bloom. The standard ones will bloom. They always do if you chill them enough. And then I'm thinking, what are you thinking? We have two bags. 40 on this side and 40 on that side or do you want some yeah. in the other garden? I don't know we'll figure it out but it'll they'll be in the front yeah okay in the front. so yeah. we will bring you in close and show you one and then um and then we'll probably put you on time lapse to do the rest yes my brother the other half of the present was also helping mom plant them so he is supposed to be here soon we'll see but on true brother time he's yeah. at least half an hour late because I've been here for a minute and I got here 10 minutes late because Cinnamon, my little dachshund friend, when I walked outside to get in the car, she um, she pulled too hard on her leash and I just had a leash and a harness and Cinnamon was gone. Was gone. Cinnamon. So I had to run after her for a minute. Cinnamon. She didn't run far. She wanted to get in the car, but she just she kept chasing, like making me chase her around the car. She will not jump in the car like Biddy will. If I open the door, Biddy will jump in every time. So we are going to go ahead and get started. I also think we have time, which I think we will. We should plant your iris bulbs today, too, because if not, they're never going to get in the ground. Okay. All right. After the freeze, though, the rest of the garden just looks wintry, frozen. So no judgment. This was Mother Nature, not us. <laughs> okay so we went through and everywhere that you see a yellow tag three four five six and then same on this side one two three four they go all the way around that is where we're planting our daffodils so mom is just starting to create the holes. She did um, no dig method beds. And so she has cardboard everywhere in these beds that there isn't a plant. So first we have to take the cardboard out and then we'll use the auger to dig holes and start to plant our daffodil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set y'all up to show you kind of how, how deep we have to dig the hole and then how you put the bulbs in and what the bulbs look like. All right, so here's the Ice Kings. And when we open them up, see if I can do this without it being a huge mess. <laughs> Yikes. Should have brought scissors. Here is our bulb. So like with most bulbs, you have the pointy side is up. The big side with the roots is down. So you want to place it right like this in your hole, four to six inches deep. So we are going to go ahead and place these first next to our um, porch steps. Do you have another set of gloves, Mom? Yeah, and then I'm right. I mean, so, trying to keep the mulch. All right, Mom. So the auger really fluffs up the dirt and kind of gets all over your pretty mulch, which is always frustrating, but is what it is. So 
the you want a nailer? No. Don't need a nailer. Alright. You think that's big enough for six bulbs, Mom? Yeah. Okay. You need the bulb tone. So then here's the bulb tone. You can use bulb tone or um, bone meal, but you need something for your bulbs to just kind of give them a good breakfast. Good breakfast. There's a handful. Do I need two handfuls? Yeah. Yeah? Or bigger. That's good. We need six bulbs, so you want enough for all six bulbs. And now we're just going to place them in our hole. Pointy side. Kind of pointy side up around the perimeter here. This one has two shoots. That's good. We're gonna put all six of these in this hole. And we're gonna backfill it with our dirt. Cinnamon, are you helping my love? We're using the auger, mom. It's gonna mess everything up a little. It's usually not that bad once you kind of get it in. Go ahead and All the dirt in the hole, and then scratch the compost in. And put the flag back in. And last but not least, put our flag back in. I tried to do it with the flag in, and it was just twirling around the auger. Put some of that compost up there. And then, if you can find a little compost from a fluffier spot. The other thing that I didn't do that I usually do and I just forgot is try to take the compost away before you dig your holes yeah. and then you can put it back on top. So that's what I will do for the next ones because I think mom is having a heart attack right yeah. now. <laughs> and there we go. We will water this in and then we won't water it again until we see green above the dirt. So. Let's go ahead and open our next bag. And I want to show you these bulbs so you can see the difference. How's that better? Yeah. All right, so here's the next set of bulbs and you can see these have shoots. So these for sure hopefully will, will grow for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Bone meal, our bulb tone, and the next hole. All right. Two handfuls, and then we'll. Then my bulbs. You want to try these gloves or beaver? One, two, and we're putting seven in each hole. Three, four, five, six, seven. Cover them with the dirt. And replace the flag. I'm gonna go ahead and set y'all to time lots because you don't need to watch us plant 100 bulbs. This is the gist. All right, y'all, to finish off our bulb planting day, we have a bunch of these iris that we dug up from a, I want to say friend's yard, but actually we went on a Facebook marketplace <laughs> find 
and the lady was moving and she had oh, so many iris that had just naturalized like crazy and she said dig some up if you want so we didn't dig up much but we thinned them out just a smidge literally one spot we thinned out mom took half i took half we ended up with about 40 each maybe but iris spread by rhizomes you can see the roots you can see the rhizomes you can see where like the original one was and now how it's spread and anywhere there's leaves that is a good rhizome so we are going to go ahead and plant these um, behind the tulips they will also come up in the spring all right so show them how you plant the irises mom was I cleared a space. Cleared a space, and it, it only has to be a couple inches deep because iris don't go down deep. The rhizomes kind of run almost right, horizontal. Just a little bit on top, just a little bit. So you just need really, fluffy dirt. We should cut them back. Yeah. Let's put the roots in there, like that. I put some of the. Bulb tone. Bulb tone in there. Boy. So you kind of just, you don't necessarily need to dig a hole, but you just want to fluff up the dirt with your auger or shovel, mix in your fertilizer, and then you put your put it right iris on top. kind of in a little circle. I do, that's how I do it. And then they kind of will spread from there. We've got six groups. So she's planting them. Iris get really tall, and of course they bloom in the spring. Yeah. So they will come up behind the daffodils. The daffodils get, what did the bag say, 16 inches tall? Yeah. And Iris will get like 32 to 48, depending on the variety. On the variety. And since we grabbed these from the Facebook Marketplace lady's house, we have no idea what variety they are. Grab um, one of those flags behind you. All right. All right, marked them with a flag. So now we're going to move on. Mom's doing the next ones. We've got all the daffodils planted, so you can see where the flags are for those. Daisy, are you showing them? Thank you, sweetheart. Good girl. Yes, so we've got all the daffodils planted all the way along. Do, 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 do. This will be really pretty in the spring. And then we'll do some more iris over here. And you can where, see where she planted the ferns I back the here. Yes, so mom's got her drip system all set. I still have to get mine done. I have been working on shore down there where it's still on top of the... Yeah, we have a whole video on how to set it up. So this part still needs to be buried under compost, but you can see how it's all set up. It's all drip on a grid. So for things like iris or daffodils that don't need direct water, the drip tubes running past them will be more than enough. But for things like the hydrangeas that need more water, you can run your water directly to them. We put an emitter. An emitter. So that's even better. So you can see she just fluffed up the dirt with her shovel. She's now going to mix in her bulb tone. And then I will go get her some more iris bulbs. Yeah. All right, Daisy, you gonna help me get some? Biddy and Cinnamon went inside for a minute. So we have our new Daisy helper, Daisy's mama's dog. All right, so here's our selection. Let's grab these. And typically if these are growing in your yard, um, you'll wanna come through and cut all the green back after they bloom and after the green kind of will die back. But these have just been in a bucket since we pulled them up. So we're not gonna worry about cutting them back because they would start, they would have started to be green by now anyways. Mine have that are coming back. Oh yeah. Definitely. I planted mine a couple months ago. Mom has had other things going on. So yeah. Iris <laughs> are pretty hardy. My best friend's mom, hopefully someday I'll get a tour of her garden for y'all, but she has so many iris. They're her favorite flower and she has them everywhere. She said she bought a bag once like this that from a lady on Facebook Marketplace and uh, couldn't remember where she put them. 
found them in her garage a year and a half later. And uh, they'd been out there all year in the heat and the cold. She thought they were dead. She planted them and they were fine. And she lives in Kansas, so it gets way over 100 in the summer and way under zero in the winter. And they don't have AC or heat in the house, let alone the garage. What? Yeah, you do not want to go visit in the summer. It is so hot. I thought I was going to die. They don't have heat. They have, have, they have heat. heat. They don't have AC. They live on a farm in the middle of Kansas. Like, they literally have a big gas drum out by their barn because they don't live close enough to a gas station to get gas. If you need gas, you just go fill up at the barn before you leave the house. Oh, Will is just killing the soundtrack for this video. It's the Daisy song. Daisy sweet girl is going deaf, so. Pretty blind. Deaf and blind. She's our sweet girl, but she's a little old. She's, she's trying to get there. She says, I kind of see you. I kind of see you. All right, y'all, we will be back in a minute. We'll show you where everything ended up, but we are, I got two. We are almost finished for, for the day. So is this a good Christmas present, Mom? Yes, Merry Christmas to me. Technically, we were only supposed to plant daffodils. Why are we planting irises and ferns? Well, because I had the ferns and the uh, iris to go. You thought of the iris, I forgot about it. I know. All right, so we have one, two sets of daffodils on this side. And then coming over here, we have planted one, two daffodils, iris, and a fern. These are the foxtail ferns, like mine. Um, I did a whole video on those, dividing them and planting them. I'll link that below. Then we've got daffodil, 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 ice king daffodil, more iris. So you can see it's like the shorter things up front and the taller things in the back come across the way and we've got kind of the exact same setup but on the other side so ice king daffodil daffodil iris daffodil iris and last but not least yeah. mom she's watering the last couple things in daffodil daffodil iris burn iris all right, so we got everything in the ground. It's going to be, what, like a month or two maybe before things start actually flowering. Yeah. We'll start to see green in maybe a couple weeks. So as soon as we start to see daffodils and iris and pretty things coming up, we will give you a update. But after the freeze, everything is just, yeah. So Find me. Find me. we cannot wait for spring around here. It is, I mean, it was freezing last week, like seven degrees. And this week it's 72. So yeah. Crazy. Welcome to Alabama, y'all. Zone 8B. It's never never a dull moment. Yep. We are going to go plant some tulips at my house. So if you want to see tulips, head over to that video and we will see you at Mom's Garden soon. Yep. Who knows what we're doing next? I don't know. I'm not in charge over here. Say right. bye. Bye.